Okay, everybody, welcome to my next playthrough. This next one is going to be Alchemy Deluxe, uh, made by PopCap. And this is a playthrough, so I'm going to explain how we go. I'm going to start on a new game on hard. So, what's going on? You have all of these runes. They're colored, of course, and you get different ones. And you place them around the board. Your goal is to fill out the entire board and make it all yellow or put uh, a counter on every space at least once. Um, so you start off with this uh, gray block. You can put anything around it. It acts like a wild card. So here's my method. You place them at, by clicking, right? And here we have three different colors, three different runes already, four now. Um, this is what I like to do. I like to make lines because it's that much easier to delegate where you're going. And if you don't want anything, you right click and then it goes into your cesspool over here, your discard bin. And if you discard more, more, uh, four times in a row or you can't make a move four times in a row, uh, you're done. Um, so I cannot place this Z looking rune next to the two because they're not the same and they're not the same color. So I throw it away. I can place this one next to there because they are well, they're both pink. It's kind of like Uno if you think about it. See? You just place one right on top of the other. Now, if you successfully make a line with these, the entire line will disappear. And that's how you clear runes. See? So this is my method. I sort them by color. And if you're extremely lucky, you can get pretty far. But we'll see how far we go. It's usually a random chance. I don't know how far we'll actually get. But um, usually a few levels at least. I'm going to make moves a little more quickly now. This is such a casual game, it's so... It's, it's harder than it looks. Um, See, so I'm gonna start this blue column going. Oh shoot, I threw that away, darn it. See, that's the thing, sometimes you're a little ha hasty because it comes up so fast. Also, if you make a line while you have a lot of uh, red in your cesspool, um, it, it, it completely empties, so you get a free start. It's like a, uh, yeah, it's a fresh start. See? All goes away. And making moves does that too, but it's only one at a time. See? You can go horizontal too, of course, but, I mean, to each his own. It, this is your board, however you want to do it. That's convenient right there. I'm sure most of these are like Greek letters. Boom, all gone. Now your biggest points are gonna come from the grayed out ruins, uh, ruins, um, the, the lines. like that. If the last rune is gray and you make a line, then you get a lot of points. But if you do it when it's all gold, you get peanuts. No, I'm nothing. Like 20, 15, fives. Although because it's the hard version, your score is um, somewhat magnified a little bit because it is tougher. Usually you only start with, I think it's only four colors. Yeah, this one's almost done, actually. You may find that it's a little bit slower um, than the traditional method of just going around the board. 
but I feel like this is the most point efficient way that I can think of. Level complete. Okay, that's level one. I think I'm gonna do another level in this and then we'll do another part. So here comes level two. So each time you complete a board, you get a new room design behind there. Uh, not that it really has any difference on the level. Um, but you also start off with a wild card. You can place it anywhere on the board. I still think it fits fine right there. So long as you can make uh, two ways. This is what I do. I go two ways with two different colors. Or at least I try to. And put anything like each other on, uh, on adjacent sides. Um, so that way, if, if I get um, a third color, I can just put it there. Um, because it'll, it'll fit. Ooh, that was close. See, I could die right now if I toss this away. Thank God. <laughs> wow, we're pushing it. And that's death. So I will see you back on level two on the next video.